types of survival candles and some that you make and then some you can purchase. Okay, well, let's see here. We'll go left to right. My left. Um, these are tea candles. They're real, they're small, they're compact, and they serve a purpose. They're good for uh, all kinds of things. You can also take a tea candle and put it in one of these mills like that and have a good self-contained tea candle. Okay. Easier to put in your bag or whatever. Then um, Sometime in the past, I purchased this. I don't remember where or what, how, whatever. Emergency candle. <laughs> it's a big candle. Comes with a box of matches taped into the lid. Good, that's a good idea, and I actually copied that. It says on here, ideal for home emergencies, power outages, camping, and storm conditions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's another example. This is uh, made out of beeswax. These are um, petroleum wax, like gulf wax. Okay, this is made out of beeswax. This is from uh, Best Glide Adventure Pocket Survival Candle. Um, yeah, here you go. It's a big tin. I can get it open. There we go. It's a big tin. It's full of beeswax. It has three wicks. It did not come with a box of match, a book of matches. So I put in a little book of uh, matches that came from an MRE at one time or another. When you get it, you can purchase this from Best Glide. I forgot how much it costs. Uh, it comes with a little rubber band that's attached back here and the whole thing sealed in plastic. Rubber band is to keep this closed once you open it. Okay. Um, this is a votive candle. Votive, I call it. And that's pretty simple. You just place it. You don't even have to place it in there, but that's basically to contain the wax and it melts. This is a homemade candle made with gulf wax and uh, a votive candle. <laughs> we used, I used the votive candle as a center for it and put in uh, uh, a lemon scented, I put some lemon, you can get scents for your candle. Put some lemon scent and some gulf wax in there, and you have a homemade candle. Simple, takes a little while, not a big deal. This is um, another type of store bought can, tin candle, heirloom, vanilla flavored. Okay, just a little simple uh, twist off top, it's not even screw down, it's just that's on there. Smells good. Vanilla. Okay. 
Um, this is, a lot of people call these uh, buddy candles or buddy stoves. Basically it's just cardboard uh, put in a metal can and then you soak the whole thing with gulf wax. Uh, and it makes a little stove and it's a good candle too. Okay. Uh, this is the one I recently showed you. It has a screw on lid. It's in a self contained tin. And I put in half of a pack of uh, MRE matches inside of it. But a whole one wouldn't fit, but half one would. So basically, you have the candle and you have something to light it with. And it just screws on. Of course, you want to wait till it cools down, but you can put the lid on to snuff it out if you want. This is an Altoids tin candle. Made with beeswax also. I put two wicks in this. One, two, and a whole full box of a pack of MRE matches. Okay, everybody should have candles. Um, some good alternative lights. They don't put out a lot of light. You can also make um, an oil-based candle by using any kind of oil. Most people use a cooking oil of some kind, um, virgin. Uh, uh, olive oil, all kinds. You just put it in a little uh, container, usually a glass container because you can get more glow. Just pour the oil in there and then use some kind of wicking material. Some people just use plain old string, kite string type. But you can get uh, a specific purpose uh, candle wicks that have a little metal core in them and they're nice and stiff. Um, I can't use candles in the house. I can use them outside or camping or whatever um, simply because the old guy that I'm the caregiver for here is on oxygen and uh, we have oxygen running in the house all the time. But um, if you were to pass, uh, wouldn't be an issue then. Whatever oxygen runs out, could use the, any kind of candle I want. But uh, I also have backup lanterns electrical batteries, battery powered, battery charged, um, what have you. So there you go. Candles. Everybody should have candles. Uh, you can make your own. Um, get you a big box of uh, Gulf Wax. I should have brought a box out here. I think I have one. But in any case, I, didn't, I don't have it out here. comes in a kind of a rectangular box. Buy it in most uh, supermarkets. Um, because they're also used for other things like canning, uh, etc. So it's a good idea to have some wax on hand. You can use it for whatever you want. You need to. All right. This is SL with SL's Prepping and Survival. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, y'all come back now. Here. Leave a comment too.